Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button, best friend, because today we got to talk about... Mm-hmm. 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 Chloe Kardashian, bitch. Girl, I almost forgot her name. I was like, girl, who am I talking about, bitch? Chloe Kardashian. I was like, do they know who I'm talking about? Girl, should I do two? I listen, I don't know, but I feel like you can never have enough um uh whatchamacallit. You can never have enough uh how does that look? Too much, right? Great. Um, listen, we gotta talk about Chloe Kardashian because she is Oh, girl, did you see my boobs? She's a hot mess, okay, girl? Listen. Listen. Um, let's get with the story first, and then we can talk. So, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Uh, she once was the favorite of the Kardashians, at least in my household. But there's just been a disconnect with Chloe lately, and I believe that it's really having to do with the man she has surrounding her, which is Tristan Thomas Thompson, um, her baby's father, and also the man who has brought, well, a lot of, uh, I'm sorry, but a lot of pain to her. Um, if you haven't followed Chloe's story, I mean, she definitely has had not the best of luck with men starting with, of course, Lamar Odom, who obviously that really was a humongous mess. And everybody, all the fans were rooting for her because everyone was like, girl, it is time that she finds her happiness. It is time that she finds, you know, it's just time that she finds her true love. And unfortunately, this is not... Unfortunately, this does not look like it will be her true love but she looks like she just can't get rid of him so if you guys didn't know he built a property very close to her after he has cheated on her multiple times after he has put her through hell after even when she was pregnant he cheated on her i'm going to tell you guys all the, the story in a second she is still such a good person to have him around but when does a good person turn into a person who needs a higher self-esteem now best friend she's always said that you know this is only for the kids but her and tristan went out this weekend and there were no kids in sight so fans are really upset saying chloe you have to have some dignity this man has put you through hell not once not twice not three times but more how much more can you take? Well, sources say that their outing was not anything romantic, but still fans are, are saying, after everything that he's put you through, why do you even allow him to be in your life? Why not just be with the children and then go about your day? In the last episode of The Kardashians, he's just standing at the doorway and she's like, I can't get rid of him, but like in a jokey way. And I'm like... If this man put me through so much fucking hell, you think that I'm going to be laughing with him? I'm going to li listen. I don't know if it's just maybe because she's a better person than I am. But look at everything he's put her through, best friend. Um, in April 2018, news broke that Thompson had cheated with multiple women while Kardashian was pregnant with their daughter. True. The story spread after a photo surfaces that month of the professional basketball player kissing a random woman at a New York City club. Later that day, TMZ released never-before-seen footage of Thomas uh, packing on the PDA with two different women while at a hookah bar in Washington. In October 27, amid the scandal, Kardashian gave birth to their daughter on April 12 and chose to remain in a relationship with him. Uh, Kardashian spoke out as to 
why she stayed with the NBA star following his infidelities, telling a Twitter fan, you have no knowledge of what goes on in our household or the enormous rebuilding this takes to even coexist. I'm proud of my strength. I appreciate your opinion and I hope you hold the same opinion to everyone else who has stayed in situations. So even back in June 2018, people were like, girl, if he did that to you when you were pregnant, what makes you think that he's not going to do that to you, you know, any other moment? When you're pregnant, that's when you're the most vulnerable. That's you are literally creating life. And he goes on and cheats on her. Absolutely not, girl. Um, in February 2019, 10 months after Thompson was caught cheating, news broke that he kissed Kylie Jenner's former BFF, uh, Jordan Woods, at a party. Um, a, a source exclusively told US at the time that Kardashian feels so betrayed. This time it e hurts even more because the person who it was with is someone who knows very much what Chloe has gone through in the past year. Jordan is like part of the family. The infidelity led the Kardashian and Thompson breaking up, but they continued to co-parent daughter True. So just 10 months, 10 months after. December 2021, the professional athlete was sued by Nichols for child support. Emmett claims that he fathered her newborn child. Uh, Us exclusively confirmed that Nichols welcomed the baby on December 1st after spending time with Thompson in March of that year while he was still dating uh, Chloe. Um, it confirmed that it was a boy in court documents obtained by us. Thompson acknowledged having uh, intercourse with Nichols several times. He requested in November 2021 to have a genetic testing ordered once the baby was born to determine paternity after um, the request. Thompson confirmed that he, uh, that he, after taking a paternity test, he is the father of Nicole's son in the statement shared via Instagram story. You also, he also apologized to Kardashian writing, you don't deserve this heartache and humiliation I have caused you. So just look at all of the things that she has forgiven him for best friend. I mean, yes, you could be a good person, but like, girl, where is their dignity? Uh, July 2022, us confirmed uh, that Thompson and Kardashian are expecting their second child together with the help of uh, a, um, a carrier. The child was conceived in November 2021, just one month before Nichols gave birth to Theo, Tristan's son. So it was just one month in between children. Um, a source told us about the pair's strained relationship. There's no place in her mind that wants to take Tristan back. She's really done with him romantically this time. It's crazy. So, best friend, as you heard me say, dignity. Don't this not the dignity? Dora, do you know where the dignity is? Listen, let me tell you something, okay? Um, I know, I know that in love, sometimes we don't have a lot of common sense, okay? When we're in love, oh girl, all bets are off, right? All bets are off. We've done some stupid shit for love. Girl, don't hide, because I know you have. I know you, listen, let me tell you something, okay? I know I've done some dumb, dumb shit for love, okay? Some very dumb shit. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? And this is something that I've learned. And it's not because I'm married or anything like that. It's something that I've learned before I got married. If they want you, they will tell you. If they want you, they will make an effort. If they want you, you will know it, okay? Doesn't matter how shy they are. You, they will let you know somehow, some way, okay? Listen, when we're in love, we are almost kind of like in the Lululand with J-Lo, okay? We are blind to any red flags. But, best friend, we have to, we have to, if we are at least blind for the red flags, we have to at least act for the actions. And the actions that this man has shown, Khloe Kardashian is, I don't give a damn about you, girl. I don't, I don't give a damn about you. I don't give a damn about your family. I don't give a damn about our family. Listen, I, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I will say this, best friend. After everything, the timeline that we've seen that he allegedly did, I just feel like you have to look at Khloe Kardashian and say, girl, what? You know what I mean? Like, listen, what is that saying? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me fool, uh, on you, shame. 
What is it? Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. Uh, girl, there's not going to be a three time bitch because I have dignity. That rhymed. Listen, no, for real. It's sort of like, girl, help me help you. Help me help you, right? And, you know, if you don't really, like, do anything to help yourself, I just don't understand what kind of example are you showing not only, you know, the people who look up to you, your fans, your children. Like, I understand you want to keep their father around. I get that. But I don't, I don't want Chloe to diminish her chances at finding true love for herself because it's it's unfair you know it's unfair and i know that tristan has gone through it i know that his mom unfortunately passed i know that he has a lot of responsibility with his brother i get all of that and i get it but a lot of these things also happened before all of this do you know what i mean so as much as i feel for his situation i also have to say that she shouldn't have to put up with these things and she should be able to move on. She should be able to find somebody, you know? And sometimes when we've hurt somebody, we have to be selfless and stop being selfish and let them go because you're in the way of them finding their true love. And I really do believe him moving close to her, him always being around, filming with her, you know, blah, blah, blah. Some say it's just her storyline, but always around, it's not allowing her to really move on. It's not allowing her to really have another shot at love, which is something that Chloe has wanted all of her life. So I just think it's unfair from his end. I know he wants to be close to his children. I know that the Kardashians are all the family he has left, but it's like Scott Disick and Chloe and Courtney Kardashian. They've chosen to live their life separately. And Scott respects Courtney's life and new marriage and, and all of these things. And he's not always around. So I don't know, best friend. I just I have a I have a you know, I'm mad at the at the fact that she is blowing her chances at finding true love because he can't make the right step and say, you know what? I have fucked her life so many times over. I'm going to give her her space, you know? But girl, if Chloe cannot find it within herself to, 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 you know, to make the moves that she has to move, then that's on her. Because what can we do, girl? Um, anyways, I'm tired of him being her storyline. So if she's going to continue with the show, I hope that Chloe finds a new storyline. It would be great to see her dating. It would be great to see her back in that type of environment. But I just have a feeling that that's not going to happen. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think about Tristan and Chloe? Um, or, or do you even care? Because a lot of people I know do, are not caring about the Kardashians lately, best friend. But let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.